Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been demoted on the royal website. This is embarrassing. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signor, and yes, it is true. A lot of people were saying they were removed altogether, but that's not true. They were demoted. Their uh, original bios were replaced uh, on the 17th, it seemed, is what we can locate, because we've gone back in the Wayback Machine, which, guys, exists. You can go check out the Internet's Wayback Machine, which sort of captures a lot of sites, and we can see that on March 17th, as you can see here, the Duchess of Sussex had her own bio, a very large bio. And interestingly enough, as Steph pointed out, and she's correct, uh, still sort of saying that they're balancing their time between the United Kingdom and North America, continue to honor their duty, the monarch, the commonwealth, and their patronages. That had still been there, even though that's not really true. Uh, same with the Duke of du Duke of Sussex. Here he is from that same day. He had his own very long bio. Uh, we're also sort of reminding people that he's it's a little later down here, but saying that, yes, they're not officially there, but they're still sort of working as they as they can in honor of the queen. Uh, there it is. Uh, spent majority of their time in North America following their decision to step back as senior members of the royal family. That's always sort of what it's been, uh, well, until today. Well, actually, I guess it was yesterday, technically. Uh, on the 18th of March, they finally made an edit. Interestingly enough, with everything that's going on, all the conspiracies floating around, the royal family had time to edit them out of the page. Now, on the main page, you won't see them. They're not there. And they, I don't know if they were ever there on the main page. But if you go over here to the royal family, and you click on the royal family. Uh, make sure I go there properly. There we go. Um, members of the royal family of the king. We have the queen. The prince of Wales. The princess of Wales. The duke of Edinburgh. The Duchess of Edinburgh, the Princess Royal, the Duke of Gloucester, the Duke, at, the Duchess of Gloucester, the Duke of Kent. I, I, I don't even know what that is, guys. Princess Alexandra. And then look how they've been now shoveled so far down the list. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, as if they couldn't be more on the dregs down here. Here's the Duke of York. Find out more about the Duke of York. So they and that's it. So they've literally been shoved down at the bottom right before Prince Andrew above, sorry, other, other princesses and dukes that not as familiar with. I, I know I'm not trying to disrespect them, but it, it's just to show the royal family has clearly demoted the duo as they should have. They should be removed from this site altogether, in my opinion. Uh, but now here they are at the bottom of the site. So when you click on over and see the new site, which is them with some hippies in Florida, I don't know what... What is this weird photo? They don't get their own solo pages anymore. They are now combined to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Have stepped back as working royal member of the family. Couple married in the chapel. Uh, have two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Uh, then here, here is now going into the... It doesn't mention that they're not there, but it says they've stepped back as working members. So they're no longer senior members. They're now not working members. And I wonder how long that'll last. I think this is a this is an interesting step in a demotion that shows it's coming. So here's this the much shorter recap of of the Duke, and then uh, the Duke of Sussex, which they make sure to keep. Of all the things they kept, they kept the photo of her from Suits, <laughs> which I don't know about you. That feels like a dig. This was never actually there, and then people complained, and then they put it there, and now it's. The only thing that's there at the start of her bio. And she's an actress. Worked as an actress. You know, notably played Rachel Zane because Suits is back in now. Uh, alongside, she wrote and edited a lifestyle website called The Tig. Now American something orchard. Riviera orchard. During her time as the family, she became the patron of National Theater. Didn't even know that. Association of Commonwealth Universities, which helps long-employed vulnerable women in employment. And animal welfare charity Mayhew. That's it. Now, here's where it gets interesting. He, look what they just added. Information about the current work of the Duke and Duchess can be found on their official website. Now, if you go to their website, she got a paragraph here. She got a longer paragraph about her acting resume than she did about her charity work, interestingly enough, from the royal family's edit. But look what they added. They added Sussex.com. That site with Megan's uh, <laughs> royal crest. 
Uh, the office of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. She no longer has a last name. She never wanted that name Markle. She was working her damnedest to get rid of that Markle name and throw all of her family under the bus. It is tragic. But here it is, Archwell. Now, what's so fascinating about the royal family endorsing this, I got to say I'm angry at them because they are now allowing the Duke and Duchess to profit off of their name, which is something they weren't supposed to be able to do. That was part of the rule. But now their charity foundation, which, sorry, I'm going to call it for what it is, a weird, obscure, confusing charity that seems to spend more money trying to take credit for other charities and then spends a lot of money with staff. And I still am confused what they're actually doing aside from showing up to things to do good. Uh, and then there's Archwell Productions, which is not for charity and it's a for-profit where literally they speak bad things about the royal family. So literally one click away, one click away. That is, that is shocking to me. I gotta be honest. To go back down, sorry, I had it, and I click. You go down to see, oh, I want to learn about them. Great. And okay, okay, great. And oh, look, I want to learn more about them. Like I'm shocked the royal family allowed this link to be there. And from my point of view, that means they're endorsing it. So all this talk about, you know, Meghan and Harry are going to get, you know, their titles pulled. It's against the, they can't do what they're doing. Well, here they are doing it. Here is a for-profit website that they're exploiting their titles on which you can go and learn all about their, talk about long bios. My God, Me Megan's blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, it's it's wild. Um, all this is here about how much she's done. The royal family summed it up in a paragraph as well as Suits, um, and uh, which is very quickly mentioned here, the hit series Suits. But uh, yeah, this is bizarre to me. This is bizarre to me. I, I, what do you guys think? Are you shocked as I am? One, it took so I'm shocked it took so long for them to actually adjust this. It's interesting the timing of when they did adjust this. And now we have them actually allowing Harry Meghan to link to their site. Now, I don't think this is going to get a lot of traffic, mind you, but it's telling, right? It's a very symbolic little gesture of like, okay, we've edited you down. You're now very down the bottom with Prince Andrew. Oh, and fine, we'll give you a link. It's weird they would even give that link. Why even mention it? There's no need. This whole this this line could have been removed and dissociated themselves from anything that's for profit over there on Sussex.com. But now it's hard to not see that the royal family is allowing and endorsing Team Sussex to now exploit it with their for profit Archwell Productions, which is literally the thing that revealed all the documentaries about the royal racists and everything else. It is bizarre to me. And I'm not cool with it. It makes me angry that the royal family somehow allowed this to happen. They shouldn't have done this. Do you, do you guys agree? And are you shocked to see them push down? Look at this. The, the original site had 4,000 word individual profiles. Now it's been replaced by a 500 word joint section next to Prince Andrew. It's pretty telling. I got to admit, it is definitely a downgrade. It's not a full removal as many people thought they would get, but it's still, they're still there. So technically, they're still part of the royal site, but they are not as you know celebrated as clearly as they were. And I love that of all the things they kept about Meghan, all her charity work that she goes on and on about on the Art Sussex Cup, they're like, we're going to show that Suits picture because <laughs> that's who you always will be. An actress. You are an actress. And I, and I believe she's still acting to this day uh, in order to keep this whole ruse going because Meghan, you're Meghan Markle. Stop ignoring your family. You've done it for too long. Enough is enough. You're a fraud. And you've stepped over numerous people, including multiple other husbands, to get yourself up that ladder to claim yourself the Duchess of Sussex. I really firmly believe this was always her goal. And I'm not okay with it anymore. I don't like, I, she's a phony and a fraud. She is not this world-class charitable feminist that she claims to be. And we will continue to call it out. So if you want us to keep the truth coming, uh, hit that subscribe button if you can. Hit that bell so you get alerts and smash that like button. Let us know your thoughts down below. Does this shock you that the royal family is allowing them to publicize Sussex.com? Also, we're going to talk about those new that new video of Catherine. A lot of people aren't accepting it. Let's argue about it today on our live over on planet. Come join us. We got coverage here and there and lots of other pop culture stories coming. So please stay subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching.